Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is my March favorites. I always have to think about what month it is, because now we're in April, but this is for March. I don't know, it's just a whole big thing that I always go through every month. So today I'm going to share with you some hits and misses. I haven't showed you guys any misses in previous month's favorites before this, so I thought, why not, because I do have a pretty large amount of misses this month, which is kind of depressing, but if you want to see what those products are, then let's just get right into this. On my Instagram, I did put up a poll if you guys wanted to see a March favorites of like a few products that I had been loving or just include them in April's because I thought there wasn't a lot, but then I was going through each of my drawers and I was like, oh man. I actually have a lot of products. So if you do not follow me on Instagram, that's where I pretty much post like all the time. Instagram stories, I'm always posting food, fitness, beauty. It's like a whole different life than just my YouTube game. So if you do not follow me on there, be sure to follow me. I'm going to start with the hits first and then move on to misses. So the first two products are beauty sponges. This is the AOA beauty sponge and then this is the Japanesque beauty sponge. I know they're both dirty. I haven't cleaned them in a little bit. Um, but I actually did just use this AOA one to do my makeup today. So that's why this one is looking pretty rough. But I absolutely love both of these sponges. They're very squishy. They're not dense at all. And they just apply your makeup, honestly, a little bit better than the Beauty Blender. These are both very affordable sponges, especially the AOA one. Oh my goodness, this is like one or two dollars from Shop Miss A. So I will link everything down below if you're interested. But this one really blew me away by how squishy, how well it applied my makeup, and just how well it's lasting. I've probably used this like ten times to apply my makeup with and still looks brand new and it's so easy to clean I feel like once you start using your beauty blender and you like constantly are cleaning it I feel like it just starts getting holes it's not as squishy it kind of gets a little dingy but with these they're holding up pretty well so I'm pretty impressed and the Japanesque one I got at Ulta and it's only ten dollars so it's like half the price of the beauty blender and I just don't think I'll ever buy another beauty blender after especially trying those sponges. The next product is the Soap & Glory One Heck of a Blot Instant Perfecting Primer. I was a little skeptical at first because it does look like a little gel consistency. It does a really good job of filling in your pores mattifying you all day and just keeping your makeup in place all day as well. I believe this was only like $12 and I really like it and it comes in one fluid ounce. Next up is a foundation. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I know this isn't new but it's new to me. I recently just did a first impression and wear test on this foundation. Um, if you're interested in that I will link it for you right here. But I actually really like this foundation. It kind of surprised me because I'm not really into the whole hydrating, luminous type of finish. But this just stays on my face for so long. I definitely think you can wear this over 15 hours and your face will still look beautiful. I actually have it on today. One thing that you do have to do with this foundation is build it up if you want a medium or full coverage. It's definitely not medium or full right off the bat. So if you do like light coverage, then this is something that you'll actually really enjoy and even though I have oily skin and like larger pores it controls my oils so well I think that's why like I keep going back to it and this is in the shade 1.0 and it's a pretty good match for me right now I'm actually really loving this so definitely try that out if you have not and then a concealer that I recently just did a first impression on as well is the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer this looks really beaten up <laughs> right on this top. Oh my goodness. But I've been using this nonstop for this month as well. It's kind of like replaced my Tarte Shape Tape when I don't want as much coverage. Just like a step down from Tarte Shape Tape. So affordable. It's only $7 and they have a very good selection of colors. I have the shade C3 and this matches me perfectly. Actually, I have it on right now as well underneath my eyes chin, you know, just highlighting the usual spots. Also comes with 0.11 fluid ounces, so it's not a lot of product, but I've been using it constantly and I don't even think I'm halfway through. So yeah, definitely give this a try if you're on the lookout for a new concealer. I would say it's kind of like the Maybelline Fit Me concealer, but just a little, just like a slight difference in it. I can't really, I don't really know what, but there's like a slight difference, but 
it's definitely a really good concealer. Next up is a very, very affordable like baking setting powder. I actually use this today as well. I tried to use all these products just to make sure that they really, really were worth me mentioning, but they definitely are. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. And this was also a dollar. I hauled all of like these dollar things in my Shop Miss A um, video. I'll link that up for you as well if you're interested. Because there were a lot of good products in that video and I was pretty blown away. This is in the shade Soft Light. I also got the brightening one but I'm kind of scared to use that one because it's a little bit on the peachier side. And I like more of like this just nude, you know, light type of setting powder. This is so good for the price. It's honestly shocking. It's very finely milled. It doesn't really crease, crack. Doesn't look too cakey. Doesn't look too dry. It just looks absolutely stunning. And I think that's what I'm like most impressed by is that there's not really a flaw in it and it's so darn affordable. I'm not sure if it gives flashback in pictures. I will definitely try that out and let you guys know down below. But even if it does, this could be a great daytime setting powder that's really not expensive at all. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powdered Bronzer and I actually picked up the shade Tawny. I was a little scared at how deep in like red tone it is when I first opened it, but once you blend it on your skin, it looks absolutely stunning. It's not too powdery where like it kind of just like dusts away off your skin and it's not too pigmented where you can't blend it out. I used it today just to show you guys how it shows up on my light skin tone. I know this is meant for a medium skin tone, but works perfectly fine for me and I just love this so much. I think I've used this every single day that I've done my makeup because I can't stop using it. It's so worth the money. It is $28, but girl, you better pick this up because it's so darn good. And for a blush this month, this pretty vulgar Make Them Blush. This is in the shade Hush Blush. It is like a deeper nude. I think this can work with a lot of skin tones, especially people that are a little bit darker than me. This is so pigmented. It's crazy. I literally just dip, like literally slightly touch it with my brush and blend it out and it that, that like, that's enough you don't even gotta dip back in for the other side <laughs> definitely gonna last you a little while and also I cannot get over this packaging this is a little bit more expensive but I think it's totally worth it there's probably a ton of blushes out in the world especially like drugstore price that's this shade and performs like this but I don't know that is just so darn cute. <laughs> and for a highlighter, you guys can probably guess it. This is the Makeup Revolution Soap X Highlighter Palette. I hauled this and then I tested it out in a video for you guys. And this is so incredibly beaming and gorgeous and creamy and just uh, everything you want in a highlighting palette. I love that it has a ton of different shades. You have a pop of color, pink, purple, deeper highlighters for some deeper complexions, and then like you have your soft ones. So pretty much anyone can use this palette. I love how it's very universal. You have different options for whatever your look you're going for. Like you can use this one if you just want a daytime one. Really gold beaming highlighter right here. White for us very, very, very fair girls. And it doesn't really emphasize your texture. It's really intense. So you want to go in with a very light hand if you don't like beaming highlights like this. But if you do, girl, then just go ham and you can blend it out. And it looks gorgeous. I love this. I've been using it constantly. Especially this shade right here. I'll actually show you guys without the cover over it. But I've been obsessed with this shade right here. Oh, it's the perfect like tone for my skin tone. So I just can't stop using this. Oh my goodness. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. I know I'm a little late on this bandwagon. But I recently have been using this nonstop. I haven't been using any other mascara. Which is kind of shocking. Because I used to love my drugstore mascaras. But this has blown me away. After I curl my lashes with my lash curler. And then apply this. They honestly look like false lashes. 
I think it's this wand. I've never tried this wand before, so it's kind of just like blowing me away. But it doesn't have a lot of product on it, and it's a little bit of a curve right there. So I just feel like I can really get every single lash and lift it up, and every single lash is coated with like a few strokes. It's so good. I really enjoy how this formula is not too liquidy or not too dry. I've never had my lashes clump with this, so I think that's why I'm so obsessed with it. And it is a little bit more expensive than drugstore mascaras but I totally think it's worth it and for a lip this month the only thing that has really blown me away and that I've been using constantly and need to pick up more shades of are the Maybelline matte lipsticks I don't really use regular lipsticks all that often I'm more of like a liquid lipstick type of girl but when I do want a good lipstick I go for this one this is in the shade raw chocolate and it's just like a very terracotta brown so creamy it stays on your lips for a pretty good amount. It does transfer. I mean, it's a lipstick, but I love that they have their matte selection because I'm not really a big fan of like shiny lipsticks on my lips. I don't know. I love matte or gloss, not shiny. I think it performs like a MAC lipstick. I do have one of those and I mean, I really can't tell the difference. So definitely going to pick up more shades of these, especially like really nice nudes, maybe a red. And for the last hit, this is the Ofra Makeup Fixer Light Mist. I'm not sure if this is a makeup setting spray to make your like makeup last all day, but I mean that's what I use it for. It doesn't necessarily say. It says it holds blush, eyeshadows, foundations, and concealers. So I mean, I mean that, that means it's a setting spray, right? I use it for a setting spray whatever works for me it makes my makeup stay all day long comes in eight fluid ounces and i think it's like 15 16 dollars very affordable i haven't even like gone down that much i can definitely still feel a ton of product in here but one thing that i don't necessarily love about this is the sprayer and how it doesn't have a cap like i need a cap if i'm gonna travel with this or like throw it in my makeup bag or whatever like I definitely need a cap because if this sprays all over my makeup I'm gonna be pissed. The sprayer is a little bit more of like an aggressive at your face sprayer so just keep it a little bit further out from you and you'll be fine. Alright and let's move on to a few misses. This is the Essence Lash Paradise False Lash Effect. So I hauled this and I tried it on camera for you guys and you guys saw that I did not like it and I tried it a few more times and even today again. It's not the worst but it's not the best. The thing that I've realized that I have to do if I really want to use this is scrape off all of the mascara off the wand. <laughs> Literally all of it. And then like on the end as well. And then I can go in with it because it doesn't have a lot of product so it's not going to clump up. But if I don't do that, my lashes look so spidery and so clumpy, it's gross. So, I mean, this is kind of a hit, kind of a miss. I'm going to keep using it, see if it can dry up a little bit and it works a little bit better. It is still pretty new, so that might be the thing, but I don't know. It, I just wasn't blown away with it how I thought I was going to, so I was a little upset. This is the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Long Wear Matte Foundation. That's a long name, but I did do a first impression and wear test on this as well. And I think in that video, I did really like this. But now that I've been wearing it a couple more times, like doing stuff, wear, running errands with it on, wearing it for a longer amount of time, this does not stay on my skin. No matter what primer I use, I use the one heck of a blah. I use the Fenty Beauty primer. Um, what else? So many different primers from drugstore to high end. And I just can't get this to stay on my skin. It breaks up really bad around my chin, my nose, and just right here. I've never really had a foundation break up on me as bad as this one does. And it claims to be a long wear matte foundation and I just don't really see that with this like this is not long wearing for me at all so that's why it didn't work out for me I mean I love how it's lightweight and the color is really nice on me but I mean I can't even keep it on for like six hours without it looking like a mess so in that one dollar makeup video I did try out a few other products and some of them were misses the first one is the AOA wonder skin perfecting blur primer this is supposed to blur out your skin, but I mean, uh, 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 it didn't do that. <laughs> it's a very gel consistency. 
it's just really slippery on my skin it didn't hold my makeup in place at all it didn't fill in my pores it didn't really do anything I think my makeup looked better without the primer on but I just don't think it's worth it I mean it's a dollar so definitely would skip out on this product and this is the Amousse Amousse Cosmetics Illuminate Pro I also tried this out in my one dollar makeup as well and this is just so chalky and glittery and not beautiful on the skin doesn't that color look gorgeous though oh I was so excited to try this out but it's just so like chalky like just not cute I mean it looks pretty but once you're blending it on your skin there's just glitter falling everywhere on your clothes on your bronzer on your chest literally everywhere another highlighter that I just don't think I'll ever purchase again or even like put on my face again I honestly might give this away to one of my family members these are the Jeffree Star Skin Frost. I have two of them, and this is the one with um, the collab with Manny MUA in the shade Calypse. Eclipse, not Calypse. <laughs> this is a stunning color, but these are also just so chalky and so glittery on my skin. There's glitter falling everywhere. It doesn't look pretty. It emphasizes my texture a lot which I do not like that. Like, no, honey. I got highlights that don't even emphasize my texture at all, so I'm obviously going to reach towards those instead of this. And the last product that I want to mention to you guys is this BoxyCharm Impure palette that I got in March BoxyCharm. I tried so hard to make this work. I have even tried it after that video that I posted, and it just, I can't. I can't do it. The mattes are very chalky. The shimmer shades are very chalky as well. They're very dry, so they don't want to stay on your lid at all. Even if you do use, like, a setting spray, they just kind of, like, clump up. And, I don't know, it just made a mess on my eye. So, I'm not really a huge fan of this. And, honestly, these colors I don't necessarily use. You guys know I don't like using bright colors. I just don't see myself using this ever again. It wasn't good. To be honest, it just really was not good. So those are all the products that I've been loving and not loving for this entire month. So now I want to include some music. So I've never done that before and I actually want to do that because I recently just got a Spotify account. So if you want to follow me, you can go ahead if you want to. But right now I have a country playlist, current favorites, and gym. I want to just play a few songs for you that I've been obsessed with lately. I don't really know all the words to these songs because I'm not the type that like memorizes words with songs. I don't know. I just like hum and like pretend I know the words in the car, but I really don't. So don't judge. Let's do Jim first. And that's called Pick It Up by Famous Dax. And then one more gym song that I absolutely love. So baby, pull me closer in the backseat of a rover that I know you can't afford. Bite that tattoo on your shoulder. Pull the sheets right off the corner of that mattress that you sew from your roommate. And that's Closer Rehab Remix. Tears in my eyes. I love it so much. <laughs> and that's You Make It Easy by Jason Aldean. And that is What Ifs by Kane Brown. 
Oh, it's a good one. On a boat in the summer. And that's Up Down by Morgan Wallen. Wallen? I don't know any of these words. And that's 23 by Jesse Laprati. And that's Ballin' by PNB Rock. <laughs> so those are all of my music favorites for this month. There's plenty more, but if you want to see those, then just follow me on my Spotify. And I always am uploading new songs, like, every single day. I listen to new songs all the time. So if you want to keep my updated, especially my gym playlist is getting lit. So... Yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this March Favorites Hits Misses Music Favorites, you know, just a little bit of everything. I'm sorry I didn't have any fashion favorites this month. Your girls just spent all their money on makeup. <laughs> Definitely subscribe to my channel if you're not already and hit that little notification bell next to it to be notified every second I upload. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.